What's up everybody? Welcome to your 8th Photoshop tutorial. Last time we talked about fills and how to work with gradients. And this time we're actually going to be working on our first image. We're going to be fixing and repairing a simple image. So the tools I'm going to be talking today with you guys about are the healing brush tools and the clone stamp tool. So let's first go to this first tool called the spot healing brush tool and select it. Now what the spot healing brush tool is it allows you to highlight a portion of your image and it replaces it with the surrounding pixels. And this works pretty good with small scratches or pieces of dust on your image that you don't want where the surrounding area is similar to the area you want to replace. So for this scratch right here, all you would do is highlight the entire scratch let go and as you see Photoshop replaced the scratch with the pixels immediately around it again just highlight the entire scratch or portion of the image you don't want let it go and Photoshop automatically replaces it now this doesn't work so well when say you want to replace a complex image where the area immediately surrounding it is a lot different, such as this cereal box. As you see, when we highlight it and deselect it, you get a lot of fading from the pixels around it, and it doesn't quite work out so well. So only when the area immediately around it is similar can you use this tool. The next tool is the healing brush tool. What this brush tool is a lot different than the last tool we talked about. It allows you to define a source and it allows you to paint beginning with that source and blend in. It's a lot easier said than done so let me show you. To do this you hold down the alt tab and as you see your cursor now turns to little crosshairs. Simply click and this will define your source. Now go to some spot where you want to copy that image you just clicked and simply begin painting. As you can see, this image is now duplicating on the portion of the new image that you're painting. And when you release, it attempts to blend it in with a surrounding image. So again, just use Alt, click, and then wherever you clicked, it will begin painting from that portion of the image. Now you may, might say, alright, how is this actually useful? Well, say you wanted to get rid of an object like this corner right here. You would go to a portion of the wall that wasn't a corner, alt click, and as you see, when you paint it over this corner, it now blended in with the rest of the wall. And that's one way to remove simple background objects from your image. Another way is to use the clone stamp tool. Now what the clone stamp tool do, does is exactly like the healing brush, alt, click, and then you can paint exactly like you did before, but instead of blending in, when you release, it doesn't blend it in at all. As you can see, the area where you stop painting, it still has hard defined edges. And this is useful when you want to repaint an area but you don't want it to blend in and you want to keep your hard edges such as if you're moving a portion of your image to another image and you don't want the edges to fade. Now the last section or tool I want to talk to you about is called the patch tool. What this does is totally replace a section of your image with another. So once you have the patch tool selected say we wanted to get rid of this corner now. Here's another way to get rid of it. Just go and select the entire corner with your patch tool or any section that you want to replace. Now as you see I have two main options right here, source and destination. What the source does when you have that selected is the portion, portion of the image becomes the source. So once you have that selected, move it to a blank spot and when you release it you can see that that now has become the source. 
So let's go back and select destination. Now, whenever you open the information, when you deselect, it now becomes that portion of the destination and attempts to blend in with the photograph. And this is useful when you want to replace certain background images. It's just another way of, I guess, using the healing brush tool or, or clone stamp tool, but it's more useful on larger areas. So now that we covered how to repair a basic photograph and remove small background objects, we're ready to move on to the next subject. And if you missed anything I went over today, you can always go to my website, thenewboston.com, and I'll have a step-by-step -step tutorial for better following along. Thank you.